Digitalization, as we call it today, is sweeping across every aspect of our daily lives in all possible ways. In today's world, it is not the big that eats the small, it is the fast that eats the slow. As the role of digitization and technology becomes multifold in every sector, it generates huge amounts of information that can yield valuable insights about the field. This has led to a boom in the data industry in the last 10 years. However, data collection needs to be supplemented with its analysis for obtaining decision making insights. Data analytics helps businesses and industries make sense of vast volumes of information for further growth and development. Investing in analytics is proving to be a difference between successful and failing companies in the present and the years to come. Over the last two years, the entire world has been grappling with COVID-19 pandemic, which affected millions of people. India is not an exception to this. The pandemic has not only resulted in loss of lives of the people, but has also caused significant damage to the country's economy. Building a robust response to fight this pandemic has been the primary objective of the government at both the state and the central level. The key mantra for building this response lies in data analysis and evidence-based decision-making. Countries which have done well in managing the spread of COVID-19 have harnessed the power of data analytics to design strategies, control measures, and policies. We can say that data analytics is not only relevant to businesses and industry, but also to governance at macro and macro level. Data-driven decision-making is gaining importance over intuitions and gut feelings. While intuition can provide a hunch that can give you the direction to start your journey, it is through data analysis that you can verify, understand and quantify. Choice of metric plays an important role in decision-making using data analytics. Often we see that the choice of metric can dramatically alter results and the action we take and one of the key lessons here is to choose the most appropriate. For instance, while analyzing the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic, we should not only focus on confirmed cases, we need to concurrently focus on the reason for deaths, the spread of the virus, genome sequencing, R factor and so on. If hospitalization and deaths are not showing any major break from the previous trends, there is less reason to worry. The other key aspect lies in identifying the correct threshold in context of the parameters. This raises similar concerns like the poverty debates in the country, where the benchmarking inevitably results in large number of people left out of government support. Another factor is the aggregation conundrum. We shall have a look at the common challenges associated with data analytics. For example, issues with reporting, there could be missing data or under-reporting, lack of standardized formats for data collection and reporting, issues related to the quality and accuracy of the data, absence of the tools to analyze data sets and lack of capacity to use these tools. Information will only be as good as the data. These challenges have implications for researchers and other practitioners who rely on this data for giving future policy recommendations. Hence, it is important to address these challenges before we undertake data analytics projects. On a concluding note, we can say that government plays an important role in data dissemination, strategy formulation and policy making. Hence, it's very crucial to build capacities for data analysis and making it a part of our lives at workplace. Data analytics is the game changer and we need to be up for it. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Stay healthy.